Okay, Virgo, for the week commencing 12th of June 2017. Let's see what your cards have got for you. That one has to come out. Let's pop it up here. Let's give it a good shuffle. Virgo, for the week commencing 12th of June 2017. Good mix. Virgo, we commencing 12th of June 2017. Okay, I see addictions, temptations, withdrawals, but there's celebration. Okay, there's news coming in next week, Virgo. Yay, happy for you. There's news coming in and you'll be rejoicing and celebrating. Okay, I see choices. Some of you could be receiving a job offer, but most strongly I feel some of you actually could be receiving a proposal for marriage or engagement. I see commitment here and it's universal energy, it's cosmic energy. So you know, you, you might just be taken by surprise and your special someone goes, goes down on one knee and proposes to you. That could happen. There's a new life ahead, there's trans transformation. So, in order to, for the new life to come in, the old pattern has to die. Okay, so the old pattern has to die. You need to make room for the new. So you've got to release whatever doesn't suit you anymore. So the temptation, the addictions that you might be facing for those who are addicted to a certain kind of behavior or have uh, anger issues or have anxiety problem or have a substance addiction or have uh, or have a habit of going for a very similar kind of a person the same type of person in their relationship so they are addicted to that kind of a person so that's going to go off and you'll have to start afresh by the end of this week okay i see someone coming back from your past you see how that guy's coming back to her He's rushing back to her and she's had heartache and loss. So basically you might have had a heartache and loss because of this person in the past and someone from your past relationship and this person is rushing back into your life and might even say, you know what, let's give it another shot or may want to get in touch with you. So there's definitely someone coming back from your past. Okay, it, it could also be, it's for all Virgo people, but specifically I see a, a male coming back into a Virgo female's life. And this person has in the past caused you a whole lot of heartache and agony. And now they're coming back for something. I don't know what, but they're coming back. But you want to move on and start afresh and have a new cycle of life. Okay, I feel slight blockage. You could be facing a little blockage in the solar plexus chakra, so I suggest you wear yellow, eat yellow foods, and yellow is a color this week, Virgo. So you need to cleanse your solar plexus chakra. You could even go for some guided meditations for chakra alignment and balance that, and um, third eye chakra as well. So you could wear purple uh, or a very indigo violetish kind of a color. There are exercises actually to activate and unblock your third eye chakra. You can look them up and there are a lot of videos on YouTube. So work on your chakras, balance them. I'm just going to do a little thing here to balance your chakras. Filling it with a vibrant violet indigo color. Reiki energy to align your third eye chakra and your solar plexus chakra. Cleansing and clearing. Okay, let's get some angelic therapy here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, this person who might be coming back to you, you might have waited for him in the past. You might have waited for him to come back a lot. Uh, waited for a long time but that time's gone now and he's coming back now and it's super late 
So you might be hearing from someone from your past. Throat chakra again. So let's work on your chakras. Virgo. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. So communicate lovingly. Those with a throat problem might be clearing their throats this week. So go gentle and easy. Honey helps. Soothe your throat. Work on that chakra. Books, a lot of you could just submerge yourself in books. You love reading. For those of you who do, you'll be reading a lot. And you know, you could make reading a part of your new lifestyle perhaps. Maybe you'll inculcate a habit of reading every night before you go to bed. Or... Uh, educating yourself for something. So books will be part of your new lifestyle for sure. You might even decide to be an editor or a writer or an author or whatever it is. But books are there. And by the end of this week, you'll realize that you, you miss books or you want books in your life. Workshops and seminars, Virgo. So I see a big number of you could be traveling for workshops and seminars. And this comes through work, I see. There could be a training or reduction for some. Some of you could. But I see that you will be attending these workshops. You won't be conducting them. You'll specifically be. Okay, some of you could be conducting. But most probably most of you will be attending a workshop or a seminar work related. So that's happening. One final card for angelic energy. Crystals. Okay. So try to get your hands on crystals. They've got beautiful energy. Rose quartz. I've been clearing your cards with these. For love and light, amethyst. Thing with crystals is, go what you're drawn to. So if you ever walked into a new age or a crystal store and you see and you feel that you're being drawn to a particular crystal, that's what you need. You're being drawn to it for a reason. So crystals would be very healing for you, very beneficial this week, Virgo. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. So see if you'd like to get a crystal or two. Now this is your Romance Angel Cards reading. So love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so Virgo, this is a message for you. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So love yourself first. Once you love yourself, you'll be able to love the other person unconditionally. And what's interesting is, it has come up in the context of that past lover who'd be coming back, rushing back to you in your life, who'd broken your heart in the past, and you have self-respect. So you're going to stand your ground and say, look, you broke my heart, I love myself. I can't love you because you broke my heart, and I had this unconditional love for you, and now I've learned to love myself first. That's what's going to happen, Virgo. You're going to love yourself. And you're going to stand strong with that self-respect of yours. And that's going to be even more attractive. Let's get you another card. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you've got to decide with this new life. Okay, for some reason I see marriage. Some of you could also be getting married. Yay! So the new life could be your married life or a committed life. You could be moving in together with your partner and there is a new life waiting for you. And it's happening very soon. So by the end of the week, you might decide to move in or get married. But you need to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so like I said, you'd, you'll have options and choices. It could be in terms of money. It could also be in terms of uh, relationships. And clearly, because if someone's coming back from your past and this person that you're currently with, you already have choices. But be very clear with this person you're with at the moment, what you want from them and what you expect. And... What's the long-term goal? Because that's going to be part of your new life. Overall, it's a good reading, Virgo. They're a celebration. Okay, this could be the one. Excellent. So, universal energy is actually everything. All signs are pointing towards this person that's going to have a new life with you. This transformation card, you're shedding a layer and starting a new life with this person. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. This could be a soulmate, Virgo. This is the man or the woman you want in your life. 
you may not realize now, but by the end of the week, you will see commitment and very, very real, a very true or very romantic commitment. So that's your reading for the week commencing 12th of June, 2017, Virgo. Hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Sending you much peace, love, and light.